Hello and welcome to another video. I am back with some Dungeons of Eternity with the new update. Um, and looks like I've got my hands in the menu screen now, which is new. Uh, before, I don't think I did, as far as I'm aware. Uh, you can select your language now because there are seven different languages in the game. They just localized it uh, to a bunch of languages, which was a huge task. And so if they're lacking some features, that is the main reason, I would say. So I'm going to stick with English. And yeah, so I've got my level 50 character here. You can see there's a bar now. Uh, I don't know if that was there before. If it was, it was full or something. But level 50, I can now get to level 60. So I'm at the start of that. Uh, I haven't played at all. This is first impressions on the update um, for the most part. And yeah, I'm going to get right into it with some solo play and see how this goes. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a ton of exciting new features. I'm going to check the settings real quick. For one, we got team options. So uh, I've got a lot of ping. That's uh, that's not ideal, but whatever. <laughs> and not that I'm playing with anyone else. So it doesn't matter too much. But uh, you have multiple people that can be in your lobby, obviously up to three. And you can kick them out now. If you are the leader, uh, you can see their voice chat. I don't know. You might be able to mute them or something here. But it's cool that they added that. And... There's the visuals. Now all of the toggles are green. This is just me kind of nerding out. Like it doesn't matter too much. It used to be red, but it's fantastic that they added the green. <laughs> so it's just so much easier to see whether you toggled it on or off. Uh, you got push to talk if you have it on or off, whatever else. Um, all of that stuff seems to be the same. And then we've got other, which here, uh, options long press. I love this. I can now, uh, I have to hold the men left menu button to pull up this menu and I can't just accidentally click it while I'm fighting stuff. Inventory labels, that's been there, that's been there. Blinders, been there. Um, Bluetooth connections, uh, so I think that has something to do with B Haptics, maybe, but B Haptics support is another thing. I don't have uh, B Haptics vest, so that doesn't affect me very much. Maybe in the future I will get it, if not only for this game. Um, but yeah, hopefully some people are going to be enjoying that. Then there's uh, configure holster, holster positions. So we've got the default seated mode and custom. So you can now customize where everything is, where your weapons are, where your pouch is, all that good stuff. Um, but I'm going to leave it on the default. Yep, so default right there. Fantastic. Okay, and then... Yeah, we've that's that's basically that. It's pretty pretty darn cool, and uh, I'm gonna get right to it. So, um, oh, and okay, yeah, no, we're good. Burn pan level 50 here. Uh, there's a new weapon, which is fantastic. I haven't gone out and gotten it yet, but um, that's gonna be the two-handed sword. And there's also new weapon models. So, like, at the top, we've got this cool mace here. I think there might be a new mace model for level 60s. Because this is, I guess, like a level 50 model kind of thing. But, yeah, pretty pretty cool. Um, the One of the biggest updates is Nightmare Mode. And uh, I'm thinking I'll use my best loadout. Um, uh, maybe not best, but... One of the most fun loadouts, I guess. Fun and good. Uh, I think this is this is a fun and good one. So ice and slowing, fantastic stuff. And what do I got here? The poison poison shiv. <laughs> and then I think this is also a poison poison shiv. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Okay, yep, it is. And the exosuit. I'm going to have... Oh, not the mind perk. Don't need to worry about that. Um... Instead of, okay, we got pullback. I'm going to do pullback. Before, I was uh, insistent that impale was better, but I, I think pullback might be overall better. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do pullback here. And, yeah, got all that good stuff. And I'm going to get right to it. So here we go. And let's see. So Underworld, Sandstorm, Lava Forge. We're going to do Lava Forge as long as there's a decent dungeon. Um... That is tiny as heck. Oh my gosh. Okay. This one, fairly sized. I'm going to go left first and then straight and then right. Okay. And yeah, so now we have tier 7 difficulty. This is pretty awesome. And 
Um, I do not have... You know what? I'm going to actually make potions this time. I never make potions. Yeah, I don't think you'll catch me in any videos making potions. But now, I'm going to make one of every potion. So, fabricate stuff. Fabricate. Here we go. Fantastic. Store that in my inventory. Haste potion. I don't need a bomb. Bombs are pretty useless as far as I'm aware. Um, got ice. That can be useful. Resurrect. You know, I, I'm probably not even going to realize I have these potions. Also, resurrect was totally useless because I don't have a teammate to resurrect. I don't know what I'm doing there, but I was just making everything. Invisibility is just super strong. So, you know, if I ever get in a pickle, just plop down invisibility. Um, haste, all that. Yeah, we got good stuff. But I might... I might just not react in time because I'm not used to having potions. I might just die and uh, that's it. Oh, let me start this dungeon. Launch that mission. Fantastic. I'm going to get right into it. So, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, the healing staff as well. Uh, pretty good change there. Um, oh, here I am. Uh, the healing staff... I think got a couple buffs. So now you can you can remove uh, debuffs, like if somebody if one of your teammates get poisoned or frozen or something like that, then you can remove those. Oh, uh, I gotta go up this chain, but I don't even have a key, so it doesn't matter too much. But yeah, so you can remove those de debuffs from teammates. Um, you can also let's see what. What was the other? Th oh yeah, yeah. Big thing was uh, being able to see how much health your your teammates have, which is like a huge benefit. If you have a healing staff, you don't want to just go running around assuming the health of your teammates. I should probably turn my volume a little bit higher. But okay, so yeah. Um, biggest thing about uh, this new difficulty is that there's no. Oh, Oh God. Um, there's no last stand. So if I die, if I get to zero health before, oh, I just knocked my <laughs> knocked my mic. Sorry about that. But yeah, so before there was a last stand, and if I got to zero health, then I would just be able to recover myself, and it just wouldn't matter. Holy smokes, that guy was quick quick on the uptake okay he's just taking a lot of damage so is that guy so these guys are almost all gonna be purple it should be pretty wild to kill the guys okay, let me just, oh shoot. So that guy and yeah the best option for me uh, is probably gonna be using ice so that I can um, one-shot enemies because they are not gonna go down easily from what I'm assuming. Oh, I just missed. Okay, and these guys, I think when I hit them on the shoulder or something, they're invulnerable, which is kind of rough. Oh, okay. I'm being, I'm being a scaredy cat, not going in at these guys. Ooh, okay, here we go. Um, oh. Kill this guy. But yeah, I have, I mean, I have extra damage with the bow, so. It makes sense that I use the bow the most. I'm at 92 health, but I also have that vitality perk, so it's it's pretty easy to just regen that health. Oh man, can't hit these guys for my life. There we go. Oh, I would like if these guys couldn't block my arrows as easily as they do, but hey, that might never happen. There we go. I thought that was a slowing arrow, and it didn't seem to slow him. Weird. Ice. Get this guy. Fantastic. All right, I think I'm good here. I'm gonna turn the volume up a little bit so I can hear, and I don't get absolutely smothered by enemies that I don't know where their location is. Okay. I got a key right there. I think there's another key over on the other side. Um, oh, I was gonna go left first. That's right. Left is right. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so, so far the tier 7, I'm not sure if I can tell as of yet how much more difficult it is than tier 6. 
Um, obviously those those barrels are a little more threatening because if I walk into a room and explode, that's it. I don't get a second chance. I don't get the the last stand. I'm just dead. So I gotta I gotta watch out for those and maybe even use health potions if I get hit by one. All right, what do we got? Oh, and one nice thing that I haven't really noticed, I guess, is that. Oh, you know what? This room might be tough because there's music. And here we go. Kill this guy. Just melee him. Holy smokes. This guy is just glitching out. He was poisoned and slowed. I think it just made him look weird. Alright, there we go. Good, good. This guy. Ah! Dodged into me. Okay. Um. Man, so. I could get... Uh, the explosions are going to be the most dangerous thing to me um, in this mode. Oh boy. And just letting enemies get close to me. But, hmm, I don't know. They didn't... The devs didn't change the uh, attack patterns. Oh, wow. Purple zombie. Never seen that before. So that's... That is new. There's one thing. Oh, my gosh. I think I also saw that there can be purple spiders now. Could be wrong, but I don't know. Oh, wow. I just killed him by tapping him. Okay. Fantastic. So this zombie man. Another zombie. Oh. There we go. Fantastic. Now. Ooh, the map. Good, good. I needed that. Then I got a key that I can put in this chest. Thank you, thank you. See what I get. Maybe a great sword, or I don't know what they're exactly called. Two-handed sword, great sword, Zway handler or something. I don't know. I think there's, I think there's some names for these two-handed swords. That's not just two-handed sword, but I'll see. Okay, man, I have so much stuff in my inventory. I'm not used to that. <laughs> All right, I gotta go left here. It's weird. Sometimes you get a chest from that. Sometimes you don't. This time I did not, because there wasn't a boss fight, I guess. Alright. Kill the spider. And the other spider. But, oh, wow. I, that is so weird. I guess they haven't fixed the, uh, the staircase. Um, throwing weapons on a staircase is still glitchy. Which kind of stinks. Bam! There's a guy. Good, good. Um, yeah, no, uh, slowing and ice as a combo is still very strong stuff. Let's see if I can snipe this guy. Wow, that was pretty close. Oh, if I can do this, that would be awesome. Oh, right before he went past the pillar. Let's go. I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. Um, I don't need to worry about all these chests and stuff. <laughs> and then I worry about the singular gold that I just got. Whatever. Ugh. Oh, no, you can't break it? Yeah, you, you can't break with a health potion. But I think you can with a key or a gem. Break faces and stuff. Okay. Oh, just ran into a wall. Okay, right here, down the hallway, here we go. Oh. I just killed him by like by loading my arrow. That's pretty cool. Oh, dodged him. Ooh. It's still pretty easy to dodge enemies, especially if you have haste, which is in fact what I have. All right, we don't have anything there. What is in here? Oh, I think that's a new room. So yeah, there's another new feature here. Is the new room? Uh, I guess 25 new chambers is what they said. And I don't know if that includes um, these, like, locked rooms, but I think it was I think it was 25 plus. So maybe it's 25 big new rooms, and then uh, just some extra little rooms for the plus. I don't know. I don't know. But I think I am gonna do more of an in-depth review of this update. Um, but for now, this is kind of just my my first impressions, more so than anything else 
Um, okay, so... What? Oh. You, oh, shoot. Wow. Did not see that guy. But there's a guy stuck in the vent. There's... Okay, devourers are still basically useless. They're just blind and don't do anything. Ooh, we got a spider? That's not good. Ooh, and I'm getting laggy. That's not good either. There we go. Um... Alright. Now I, I only have to fight one enemy at a time because <laughs> one's locked in a cage. And one is up on that balcony. I'll just kill this guy. Oh, Somebody just... Oh, it was... <laughs> one of those guys is a bomber. He, he bombed his teammate or something. There we go. Got that guy. See if I can... Oh, I got poisoned. Oh, all right. There we go. Oh, wow. Where did he even come from? 59 health. I gotta be careful. Okay. Jeez, doing the matrix under me. Okay, I'm just gonna kill, no! There we go. There, fantastic, dead guy. Oh, and that guy just kills himself. Cool. Oh, here we go. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Now I can put the skeleton key into the skeleton pouch. Key holder, whatever. And I came from back here, oh! The skeleton key is on the map now. That's kind of cool. Here. Look. Skeleton key. Wow. That has never been on the map before. But slowly adding some more new cool features is always a good thing. I, oh, Was there something up here? Yes. There's an extra room up here. I could have just came up here to kill that zombie. But instead I had to snipe him. Like a ding dong. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he just run into these guys sometimes and pushes them back. Oh, what? He didn't die from the frozen arrow. That's crazy. Unless somehow he got unfrozen from it. Without, like, right before I shot him. I don't know. Okay. That was not too interesting of a room. We still got this room from the, the other update. It's already been here for a while. And I can zoom down here. Okay. That's a scary barrel. We got a bunch of scary... Okay, two scary... Oh, jeez, no! Woo! Healing myself before I die. Wow, if I just, like, accidentally ran into another uh, barrel there, that would have really stunk. Oh, that guy was poisoned, and yet he dodged the arrow. Ow, that hurt. Do I have 67? Let me take one more hit from those purple guys. Oh, wow, I am, no. Okay, I just kept shooting right over his shoulder. Oh, there's always a key up here, I believe. Ugh. No, no key up here. Oh, maybe it's on the other side or it's just, oh, it's not here anymore, right. Okay, so they randomized the keys in rooms. So I don't know for sure if there's like a hundred percent chance of a key in this room. Oh, okay. Maybe there is because I just found a key. Um, yeah, so you, you actually have to look for keys now instead of just memorizing where every key is in every room. And this room used to have a key that was always right there. No longer. Now I have to, I have to search for the key, but I don't need another key yet. So just gonna open this see if I can parkour over here oh yeah I did it I did the full parkour look at me and then I hurt myself okay there we go what do we got fantastic oh you know what? I should have used swords because swords got a buff I think they are now the strongest weapons um, I think they're stronger than maces now from what it sounded like from what they said I think that's the case. All right, we got a bunch of purple guys, but yeah, no, uh, tier seven difficulty. It seems like everything is purple now. Not even though, just a lot more things. Maybe not even a lot, but a fair amount more are now purple. Okay. So 
I, I guess that's kind of harder, but again, purple enemies are kind of just faster. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I gotta, I'm gonna heal just in case. I don't want to risk with all these bombers here dying to a bomber. Oh, boy. <laughs> I just ran straight past that one bomber. Okay. Oh, that is so many bombers. Holy crap. Ooh, ooh, here's a good chance for the ice. Haha! -ha. Fantastic. Oh, except they still explode at the end? Yeah, they do. So, good thing I didn't stand in their explosion radius. What do we got? Okay, Mr. Sorcerer Guy. Let's see if he's any more difficult. Oh, I didn't I don't know if I even shot him, hit him. I should probably increase the sound effect volume because the <laughs> the music is so loud I, I can never hear where he spawns. I used to be able to. Ooh. Okay. I gotta try to hit this guy in the head too. For the extra damage. I think. I think it does extra damage. I don't know for sure. At this point, I had a little distraction, so here's a uh, some voiceover audio. Here you can see I'm still trying to kill this purple sorcerer guy. And uh, I didn't really mention, but the bow that I have has, I think, over 100 damage now, which it used to be 70. So it's very nice that the bow got a buff, but I still can't shoot through weapons like the crossbow. Okay, there we go. Got the guy. Now I just gotta get all of the coins and stuff. Um, oh, look, a key. Never found a key there before. Okay, there's a another battery. But yeah, that was that was it. That was tier seven difficulty. You know, it's pretty. It's nice. It's harder, I think. Um, I guess I was using some pretty strong equipment. Um, but still, I guess as a level fifty. Oh, sorry, I punched my mic again. But yeah, as a level 50, I'm gaining some XP. It's going to be quite the journey to get to level 60. Um, as a level 50, I still kind of breeze through tier 7 difficulty. So I wouldn't say that that's a fantastic thing. Um, but at the same time, if you have more teammates, there will be more enemies. It will be harder. Um, solo is still just kind of, I think it maxes out at usually three enemies per space, per room, and maybe like a couple more critters and whatever else. But it tends to not be that difficult, um, no matter what, unless they end up ending, uh, adding new attack patterns and new uh, complicated, randomized ways of enemies fighting you. So, But hey, all in all, I think that was pretty good. Well, well it wasn't terrible, at least. Um, and yeah, I got my got my daggers and my bow, and I I am kind of curious about the swords though. Let's see what how much damage they do. I think the bow might have also gotten increased in damage. Okay, yeah, so ninety. You these usually had like I don't know seventy maybe, but now ninety seven, so almost a hundred damage from the swords, which makes sense because you can't really throw them. Um, the throwable perk. I'm also curious. This is, has the throwable perk. I want to see if it if it actually works now. Because before it it helped with the auto aim, but it still just kind of died when you threw it. And you know, I could I could have just tested right here. Eh, I don't know. I think that's better. Oh yeah, no, that's totally better. The throwable perk works. But um, oh, that's nice. That is nice. Maybe I'll use throwable swords now. And, ah, man, but it takes away from a perk, which I guess makes sense because it does so much damage. Um, but I, I also thought the throwable perk would make it so that when you throw it, it just goes straight, kind of like a javelin. I mean, maybe if I throw it like this, no. <laughs> That's not going to work. But no, th I mean, this makes sense. This is cool. I do like that I can throw the sword now and it doesn't just die out. And I'm, I'm sure there's a ton of other bug fixes that I did not get into, bug fixes, improvements, whatnot. And again, I, I think I'll get a more in-depth video to come out pretty soon. Um, 
but yeah, for now, that's that's how it is. And uh, yeah, I feel like I'm missing stuff, but I'm sure I am. I'll, I'll get into it. I'll get into it. Once I'm level 60, I'll, I'll come back. Just kidding. It won't be until level 60. But, you know, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. And peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you.